can't believe that I'm doing this, but I feel like it's time that I finally come clean about this. <sighs> Maybe I should introduce myself first. Hi, my name is Tal. I'm an American-Israeli YouTuber, and I've been traveling around the world making YouTube videos for the last 10 years on this channel. In my time traveling the world, I've traveled to over 64 countries, and I've worked hard trying to make content that opens people's minds, makes them think outside of the box, and tell very interesting stories about people around the world. Since the October 7th war that started here in Israel, where I currently am, and this is hard for me to talk about, but I've gotten a plethora of comments over the course of the last couple months since October, where I've been very vocally pro-Israel. I've been very vocal about the fact that I'm not okay with my 85-year-old grandma who suffers from dementia, who is also a refugee from Iraq, having rockets fired at her by a group of terrorist monkey-like creatures. And that has, rightfully so, caused to for some major suspicion by a lot of people online, especially with my content that speaks to give the perspective of a brown person in this war. Um, like seeks to give the perspective of a brown Israeli Jew that seeks to give the perspective of somebody who a lot of people consider Arab or an Arab Jew uh, about this war and how I feel about this stuff. And of course, in life, sometimes hearing an opinion that you might not know exists can be hard. And maybe it breaks the entire stigma of what you're trying to promote. Maybe when you see me, the idea of a white colonizer all of a sudden goes kaput. I was hired by the Mossad to make videos about Israel. I thought today I would reveal exactly how much the Mossad is paying me and obviously the Israeli government. Who I'm clearly working for. So before we get into just how much the Mossad and the Israeli government is paying me for the propaganda that I create about Israel, I thought we would read some of the very good questions that are being highlighted by very nice, decent people in the comment section of my YouTube videos. So recently I covered a story called um, the, This Palestinian Left Islam and Now He's a Zionist which tells the story of an Arab-born Israeli named Timur David Aklin who converted to Orthodox Judaism. So the following comment I feel really addresses some of the key points of the video, um, especially when it came to the familial problems and the racism that he endured, and then also some of the suffering he endures even today um, after leaving the Muslim Arab community. Uh, so this comment I feel like really addresses that stuff very honestly. Um, this is from Obingile Mafuvuke, he says, very sophisticated Hezbollah project. What he says is pure racist propaganda, referring to, to Timor. Um, then he says, when adopting Judaism cannot make you a Jew according to the law, what Hezbollah rubbish is this? Just for those of you guys who don't know, Hezbollah is something that I do on this channel pretty often. It's a term in Hebrew. Hezbollah literally means to explain, but the, the term has come up th sort of um, in the social media era where it's content that is made to create, to explain to people the truth about Israel on the ground. Uh, here's we got another comment, the same video, Chief Red 2024 says, what has Zionism to do with religion? Only fools will buy this Hezbollah story. Uh, here, here, this is another one I've made a video um, recently about Israel-Palestine. It said, I wanted to listen, but after you misrepresented Hezbollah's truth, I had to stop. Hezbollah is a program of the propaganda by the Israeli government. Uh, then we have a comment referring to a video I made in Ramallah with an amazing YouTuber called Corey Gil Schuster, who runs the Ask Project. Uh, this was us basically just asking Palestinians questions in the West Bank in Ramallah. The video is literally called Jew Asks Palestinians This? Question mark. The comment from Andrew Malone says, That Corey guy pretends he's for peace, wink wink, but in reality he's one of the main Zionist agents working for the Mossad out there. These are just some of the many comments I receive on a daily basis addressing the fact that I am indeed part of the Mossad, indeed part of the Zionist agency and the Zionist, Zionist conspiracy to take over the world. Um, I am but a small part of the puzzle. Obviously, there are people way larger than me, but I am indeed part of this Zionist reptilian agenda. To eventually take over the world and everything that makes it wonderful. <laughs> Oh, this is the fucking stupidest video I've ever made. Now, I thought for the people who have been wondering, it's probably time to come up uh, with the numbers. A lot of you guys want to know exactly how much I'm being paid to make this Hezbollah content. I've gotten this comment through my Instagram and my YouTube and all across my social media. How much is the Israeli government paying you for all of this content, for all of this pro-Israel content? Because if we as Jewish people feel under threat by the global community, right? Just the other day, I saw a video of... Um, of a group of pro-Palestine protesters violently attacking an Israeli guy outside of the school I grew up 
in South Florida, that makes me feel safe, you know? And the only way that I'll ever speak up about that is if I'm paid by the Israeli government to talk about that. There's no way, there's no rationale that I as a Jew started feeling unsafe globally after October 7th when there were calls from all over the world in many Muslim countries and um, many radical white supremacists around the world to, to kill Jews in mass. There's no way that as a human being, which I'm not, obviously I'm a reptile, that I would ever feel that I need to stand up for that or to talk about that because that would be very weird. I'm a Jew and we have to get paid to talk about these things. There's no way that my human decency, again, since I'm not a human, would allow me to talk about these topics. And so since October 7th, I signed a deal with the Israeli government and the Mossad for the most part to receive payment for every time I say the word Israel and every time I say something negative about the word or the, the idea of Palestine. I get paid about dollars and we get paid in USD because the Israeli shekel is obviously a false sense of currency backed by the US government. It's not a real currency. Per time that I say Israel and for every time that I say something negative about Palestine, I get paid about $100. It's actually a really good exchange rate. So whenever I try to make a YouTube video or a thumbnail, you guys can see, I put uh, a lot of Palestine and Israel in there. Now, even, even more so than that, every time that I put an Israeli flag in one of my video thumbnails, I get paid dollars. And every time that I put a Palestinian flag in one of my YouTube videos, especially if it has a negative connotation to it, I get paid about dollars per time that I put the Palestinian flag in my video. It's a long deal that's contractually obligated for me to continue making this type of propaganda. I'll have to keep doing this for the next couple years until eventually my soul will be sold completely to the Zionist machine and I'll either ascend to heaven or to the depths of hell. That's yet to be seen. I'm not sure, it depends on my contacts and depends on the percentages. Um, you know, it's there's a lot of things in there. The Hezbollah content machine and pro-Israel Zionist propaganda machine it's actually a pretty lucrative deal for a lot of people. So if you're struggling financially and you are interested in getting involved, there'll be links down below in the description to my Patreon, to my PayPal, to my Ko-Fi and my uh, buy me a coffee. All of those are down below in the description of this video or in the pinned comments. And uh, if you send me a hundred dollars or so on any one of those, actually I can refer you. You just send me a hundred dollars on any of those. And then uh, you can send me like a job application, a CV towards, towards my email. Um, if you want to get involved in the Zionist machine and uh, with that I can sort of refer you over to the proper people and, um, and We can try to get you involved in the Zionist Hezbollah uh, propaganda machine. There's a lot of machines I'm, I'm not totally in the loop exactly on how many machines there are. I haven't I haven't counted all of them yet <laughs> But what's for sure is that this is very lucrative and it makes a lot of sense if you're struggling financially like I was just before I started this I absolutely hate the fact that I feel like I can't upload this satirically and I have to actually say this at the end of the video but just in case because there probably are quite a few idiots who will take this seriously <sighs> I hate that I have to say this because it ruins the video but okay everything I just said was a joke you don't need to send me any money please don't send me your shitty job application I'm not interested in reading it and this was all just a funny little gag. Think of it as a weird form of art. Anyways, I'm happy to say this channel is fully fan funded at the moment. Last night on a live stream, you guys literally funded me over $1,300 to go down to the south of Israel today and film you guys incredible content about the atrocities that happened on October 7th, where Hamas invaded Israel and did unspeakable acts of terror towards innocent civilians, over 1,200 innocent civilians, and took many of them back as hostages in Gaza. Thank you to everybody who's been supporting me, to all the people who are fans of this channel. You guys are the ones who make this work, not some weird Zionist propaganda machine. It's you guys, and because you guys are fully funding me and keeping me on my legs right now, that's the only way I'm able to continue making this content. So thank you. And for those of you guys who don't believe anything I say, I'm a lizard. Beat me up, Zion.